Welcome to the next session of finite element analysis. In this session, I am starting with spring card system. I am solving question 13. Find for following problem, modal displacement, reaction forces and force in each spring. So, F2, F3, F4 are the forces which are given to me. I need to calculate the reaction forces that is F1 and F5. The nodal displacement that is U1, U2, U3, U4, U5, whatever is required I have to calculate u1 and u5 will be 0 because these two are fixed and I also need to calculate the force in each spring. So That is also something which is supposed to be calculated. Now these are the value of stiffness which are given to me for each spring and I have to tally the answers using the appropriate criteria. So the first thing that I am going to do is discretize the question given to me. If you can observe this is my element 1, 2, 3, 4, this will be node 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now in discretization diagram, I am not going to mark these fixed, I am just going to draw the springs over here. This is my discretization diagram. Here I can write down K1, K2, K3, K4. I'll go to step 2 that is development of EME. You know F is equal to Kx. So I can just use the equation as K. Instead of X, I'm going to use U1, U2 over here, which is displacement. And here I'll have F1, F2 raised to T. Now I'll start solving for element 1. The value of k is 10. So I can directly multiply over here. I get 10 minus 10 minus 10 and 10. I'll have u1 u2 raised to 1 is equal to f1 f2 raised to 1. My element 1 is between node 1 2 which I'll mark over here. Next I'll go for element 2. For element 2 the value of k is 15. So the multiplying factor is 15 here. Element 2 is between node 2, 3. Next, I will go for element 3. This value is 25. So, here I will have 25 as a multiplying number. Element 3 is between node 3, 4. And last, I'll go for element 4. The multiplying number is 20. Element 4 is between node 4 and 5. Next, I'll go for step 3. That is development of GME. Here there is no term common. I just have 5 nodes. Now my first element is between node 1, 2, 1, 2, so 10, minus 10, minus 10, 10. Second element is between 2, 3, value 15. Third element is between 3, 4, it is 25. And last is 20, between 4, 5. 
rest of these elements are zero. Next, I'll go for step four, that is imposing boundary conditions. The variables that I have are u1, u2, u3, u4, and u5. And here I have f1, f2, f3, f4, f5. Here you can see f2, f3, f4. The values are given. You can see the directions are different. F3 and F4 are towards positive x-axis I can consider. So these two are positive. F2 is in the opposite direction. So I'll take it as minus 20 Newton. Node 1 and 5 are fixed. So I can say the displacement at these two nodes are 0. I'll write U1 is 0. Node 1 is fixed. Here I'll have my reaction force to calculate F1. And here also it is 0. Node 5 is fixed this is question mark this is minus 20 newton 30 newton and 50 newton these are given values and these three will become question mark now when i go back to this equation i'll have u1 as 0 u5 as 0 so i'll neglect first row first column fifth row fifth column for some time I'll use this matrix, calculate the value of u2, u3, u4 and then I'll revisit and calculate value of f1 and f5. Now the matrix that remains is Now I'll write the equation. Solving these three simultaneously, I get U2 as 0 0.805 mm u3 as 2.675 mm and u4 as 2.597 mm now these are the values of my nodal displacement so this was the first question that was asked to me next i'm supposed to calculate f1 and f5 so i'll revisit the equations i get the value of f1 as minus 8.05 newton and F5 as minus 51.94 Newton. So these are the reaction forces which I am supposed to calculate. This is my second question. Next I will go for my check step. Summation of force in x direction should be equal to 0. So summation of F1, F2, F3, F4 and F5. I get this as 0 0.01 Newton, which is approximately 0. Hence, I have tallied the solution and I know my answers are correct. And the third thing that I am supposed to calculate is forces in each spring. For that, there is a formula Fe bar is equal to K minus 1, 1 u1 u2 raised to e so for element 1 this will be f1 bar it will be k1 minus 1 1 and here i'll have u1 u2 my value of k is 10 so this will be minus 10 10 u1 is 0 u2 is 0 0.805 this is 0 and this will become 8.05 newton since it is positive i'll write so this is the force in spring 1. Similarly, I can calculate for all the other springs and I will get the value of F2 bar 
positive so tensile f3 bar as minus 1.95 newton negative is compressive and f4 bar is minus 51.94 newton which is 51.94 newton compressive so these are the rest of the answers i hope you have understood the numerical with this i end the session i will see you in the next session with another numerical on spring card system itself thank you mm -hmm.